Her face, covered in bandages, appeared on her favorite football club's Twitter page. Sahar set herself on fire in front of a Tehran court in early September, after learning she could face a two-year prison sentence. Her crime attempting to enter a football stadium dressed as a man to watch her team play. The young football fan later died from her injuries. Following the incident, thousands have expressed outrage over a persisting stadium entry ban for women in Iran. They don't let us inside the stadium, but here inside a shopping center, there's no problem. When we come here, we can yell, we can scream, and we can release energy. I believe this type of outlet helps reduce violence in society. Iran has barred women spectators at football games since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, arguing that they must be protected from the masculine atmosphere and the sight of semi-clad men. I think football fields aren't proper places for women. I don't agree that women should be allowed in stadiums. I think it's wrong. It'll just cause more problems in the stadium and also on our streets and neighborhoods. FIFA, the world football governing body, has failed to compel Iran to allow women into stadiums, despite years-long efforts. But following national and international reaction to Sahar's tragic story, the Iranian government has announced it would review the situation. We believe that women should be allowed to enter a stadium. But I'm sure you understand that some are worried about their presence there. Our next game is against Cambodia, and women will be present, and their presence will increase progressively. In recent past, Tehran has allowed a few women to watch games in public, mostly to alleviate pressure from FIFA. But some human rights bodies view this as a ploy to manipulate the chief soccer federation, doubting the Iranian government's intention to make meaningful changes.